Terry Harper, massive congratulations. You arrived tonight at Wembley as the WBC and IBO Super Featherweight World Champion. You are leaving with your world titles. Just talk us through how you're feeling after that. Well, I'm buzzing. Um, I just said that's my birthday, Christmas all in one. I, that's that's made my year. Um, obviously, having that tough fight back with Tasha, um, there were doubts. Um, there were wrongs that I needed to put right. And we came away and I've worked, I've worked my butt off. And I've just gone out of there and breezed it. I hurt my hand in fourth round. Uh, I couldn't throw it, and when I did throw it, it would give me loads of pain, so I just stuck to my jab, kept one, and just moved. I know she got frustrated at one point, she stood in the middle of the ring. Um, I didn't want to look like I was running, but there was no else I really could do, uh, so yeah, I'm happy. We know heading into the fight that Sanders liked to swing up, but she really couldn't get close to you tonight. She couldn't pin you down, and you had that big breakthrough in the ninth <laughs> round. Just talk us through the finish from your perspective. Um, I caught it with the head. Uh, that's probably from me lunging in, total accidental. And then uh, I knew I could see that her nose was uh, troubling. I could hear her breathing, uh, change, uh, the sound of it changed, so I knew it was going to cause trouble. She was getting distracted by blood, uh, so I threw a nice left up to body, caught her, and I heard her wince. She, she obviously, whatever, she backed off, and I just I just went fuck kill, really. But well, then I remembered I hurt my backhand, so I didn't want to blow my son out. I still had another round to go, but uh, ref jumped in, and yeah. Sticking to your boxing and the game plan, not get involved in any type of war tonight was what you said was the key to victory. But to secure the stoppage after such a brilliant display, that just must make it feel even sweeter for you. Yeah, uh, I know uh, my early boxing career I got a few stoppages, uh, so it's nice to finally get another one. And um, I'm going to say a big thank you to Danny, obviously. I, it's, it's given me the confidence um, that I can go through them gears, that I have got that strength and it's just unlocking it. So God knows what I'm going to be like after my next camp. Only 24 years old, of course, 12 fights in. When you look back on the journey you've had to nearly giving up the sport, how does it make you feel and contemplate what you've just achieved there tonight with such a great performance, boxing on such a huge night for women's boxing, live on Sky as well? Uh, I could kick myself for uh, even thinking that I were never going to come back to the sport, but uh, the fact I'm here on such a big night, it's, it's amazing and uh, it's still sinking in what I'm, what I'm doing for a full-time job and I'm just loving every minute. This, this fight camp, I've really loved it, I've loved the hotel, I've, lo I've made sure I enjoyed the whole experience. Last night we were sat in the cinema room and it was uh, half ten, I thought, shit, I've, I'm fighting tomorrow so I best take myself to bed. But I'm just, I just enjoy myself mixing with everyone, uh, getting to know everyone and yeah, I'm just, I'm just loving it. Rome wasn't built in a day, as you <laughs> put it yourself, but you said, you're a work in progress, as you touched on there, bringing in the strength and conditioning coach, making a few adjustments, bringing Brack, you know, brought down perhaps a, a little bit to reality after the Tasha Jonas fight. You've learned a lot, haven't you, about yourself and where you are with your boxing career right now after tonight? Yeah, even from that, I'm going to go watch it back and I'm going to pick up faults. So uh, I'm going to enjoy a rest and then we're going to get back to gym and uh, back, back to work, just improving it all the time. On what? was such a, a big night for women's boxing. We know Katie Taylor is someone who has inspired you. How does it feel for yourself to know that you're a role model now to so many girls around the world? Amazing. Uh, pff, uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on my social media later and thank everyone for the support and all, all the young girls. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to respond to everyone who's been in, in touch. I felt, really felt the love this week. And uh, I was going to say massive congrats to Rachel who just went out and bossed it as well. So good night. Just, just looking forward to watching Katie now do the work. Do you feel your general mindset heading into this fight was just better? I remember you saying ahead of the Tasha fight, you took yourself off social media, you locked yourself away a bit. You just felt more relaxed and that showed in your performance tonight? Yeah, uh, it, were, it were bad. Uh, I'd say it was quite a dark, dark time for me, for me in my professional boxing career, the last one. Um, like you said, mentally, I, I was questioning things, getting too caught up on the social media stuff. So um, I just came away and not let that bother me and just focus on the job that we're here to do. When we look ahead to the future now, the super featherweight division is absolutely stacked. The likes of Maiva Hamadouche, of course, Yon Mi Choi added to the matchroom stable this week. Michaela Meyer, you're ready for them all now, aren't you? Yeah, I want to fight the best. We know you've highlighted fighting in America as a dream. Michaela Meyer, sure she was watching tonight. She's had plenty to say. Do you have a, a message for her tonight? I hope you enjoy me left up to body, because uh, apparently I can't work to body, but uh, I'm coming for you, Maya. Um, slowly but surely we'll get there, and I'll be punching you in the face very soon. Brilliant. Um, uh, we're just going to bring in Steffi Ball, if we can find him. Jump in, mate. Steffi, brilliant right, performance. No, you're fine. Mate. A brilliant, a brilliant performance from Terry tonight. Is that right up there with her career best? Uh, most matured and, and polished. Yeah, I think. I think. Uh, 
I didn't realise it was going to be that easy, to be totally honest. Oh, easy we... for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the me question. <laughs> but yeah, I, I didn't realise it was going to be that easy. And obviously, we... she come back at the end of the fourth round, I hurt my hand, I I said, don't be negative, don't be negative. And then for four rounds, she didn't she didn't throw her backhand. And I'm like, just mix it up, faint with your backhand and come low with your left. And we've been really working on this shot, right hand, left up to her body. And uh, that was the shot that did it. So as a coach, it makes me very proud that she finished with that. But I think if she, had, if she did have a backhand, uh, not moaning about it, she'd have got the job done a lot faster. <laughs> and uh, just talking about some of the champions at Super Featherweight, yeah. what, what do you see as the next move for Terry moving forward to 2021? Well, there's, there's, there's three other world champions, so we want one of them. As, as you, Eddie mentioned, he's, he's signed two of them, and obviously, may as we top rank. So, you know, a little rest, enjoy Christmas. We want a champion now. We want unifications, road to undisputed. There's four champions, let's see who's the best. Brilliant. And just a period, do you have any final messages and thoughts just about tonight? Um, last time I went home, my granddad gave me a rate telling off, so I'm looking forward to going home and seeing my granddad and seeing what uh, feedback he gives me on tonight's performance. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm sure we'd be very proud and impressed with your performance, Terry. Thank Terry you. and Steffi, thanks for joining us. Thank Massive you. congratulations. Well done. Cheers. Thank Cheers. You.